Good morning, besties. This morning, I'll be making focaccia garlic bread, okay? In this bowl, I'll be adding one cup of warm water, salt, and yeast to dissolve. So this is the warm water, salt, olive oil, and yeast that I'm whisking together, okay? You wanna make sure it is whisked together thoroughly and that the yeast and the salt is like melted, okay? You don't have to use steaming hot water, just nicely warmed to allow the ingredients to dissolve. Now let's talk flour. This is all-purpose flour and that's the one that I'm going to be using. I'll be using a cup of that and I'll be whisking it in into my ingredients. I added about one cup of all-purpose flour and then I'm going to whisk it together. So this is what it looks like, you know, as you see it has movement, but it is very, very like um, thick and heavy, okay? It's whisked thoroughly, okay? I'm going to cover the dough um, with a plate and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to just sort of be set for like 30 to 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna sort of come back and use the whisk to sort of fold it over and over and over until I can achieve the correct texture. I'm gonna take out the dough and sort of mix in an egg in there. Then I'm gonna whisk it again and put it back to set. In the meantime, I'm gonna be making the coating for the bread um, to put into the air fryer oven because that's what I use to bake my bread. Um, so I'm gonna be blending the garlic, some rosemary, um, I've brought all about my rosemary, and some olive oil together, okay? I'm also gonna be melting one um, wooden spoon of butter in this saucepan. Then I'm gonna combine it with the blended garlic and uh, rosemary okay so this is my topping you can see the butter is starting to melt i went ahead and put the rosemary garlic um in and the olive oil thing into the butter and i'm just gonna allow that to melt and then i'll just have that as soon as the bread is ready and folded then i'll put it grease the pan put the bread in and use this as the topping, okay? I can actually see little bubbles forming. They're not big enough yet, so I really want it to form some better bubbles, and then once the butter is melted, I'll go ahead and move to the next step. I am definitely seeing more bubbles, so what I'm gonna do is um, I've washed my hands. Of course, my hands was clean from the start. I have a small bowl with water and I'm gonna dip my hand into this bowl of water to just sorta um, get my fingers wet because if I put my fingers in this by itself, you know, it's gonna stick. So when I touch this, you see not much comes off on my hand. And then I'm gonna use my actual hands and sorta fold it over and over and to achieve more bubbles okay i'll be back so i took out the bread the dough and it definitely has a lot more bubbles that i didn't form so it just means that we are on the right track okay I'm going to fold it some more with the whisk or a spoon or my hand to just sort of get it some more bubbles in there.
Okay, so um, the dough is ready. I've already like greased my pan. Um, this is not necessarily a bread pan, but this is compatible with ovens and air fryers and microwaves. So I just took the top off and this is what I'll be baking in. I love baking in these. I've done cornbread in these type, maybe a circular one because I've, I've set. And I'm going to be filling this with the dough and then I'll show you how to do the topping, okay? I am pre-eating the oven at 400 at 5 minutes, okay? So this is what mine looks like. If you want even better result, you can leave it overnight and then fold it in the morning and bake it in the morning. This, this is my topping. I use what I have in my pantry. I use half of some diced tomatoes, mixed it with the uh, rosemary, garlic, and butter. Okay, and now I'm gonna add it to my bread dough. I just gotta make sure that, you know, everything is evenly spread and use my fork to sort of work it into the dough, okay? Looks good. I'm using my fork to sort of bring up um, some of the dough to the surface of my bread, okay? Just give it that um, nice folded look, okay? I'm guessing this is gonna be good, but I will be tasting it. So this is one way that you can do it too. Even if you don't um, achieve the um, right amount of bubbles, use your fork or whatever tool you, you have and fold in your topping throughout the bread to give it that professional look, okay? My bread is now in the preheated air fryer. I'm gonna close it, okay? It's already on. I'm going to basically program it to 400. And I'm going to go up to 25 minutes, okay? It should be baking for 17 to 27 minutes. However, I'm probably going to check it at 20, 21 minutes. Just see if it's like golden brown. And if I want, then I can keep it for 27 minutes. Um, once I hit uh, start, then it's going to start baking. I'll be back to check on it. Okay, everybody. My focaccia bread is done. I think it turned out really good. Love, love, love the idea of poking up the the bread with the fork to just let the tomatoes and rosemary and the butter seep in and now for the moment of truth I'm going to be cutting me a piece to taste one moment this tastes amazing um, it's definitely definitely done all right I'll be having a little piece with my bread let me just taste this oh mm -hmm. it is so good mm. look at the rosemary the tomatoes mm, you don't even need this with anything <laughs> 